Hello, I have a new journal kit to introduce you to. I don't have the pages I have of journal that I created. This is what I created using my new D vintage day book kit. As you can see, it's tall and thin. It's eight and it's almost nine, eight and seven eighths by three and a half. The spine is three quarters inch. There you go. In the kit, I give you the cover, the liners, and I actually sized them to the right size, but I gave you three um, bonus pages that you can use if you don't like these, the, one, the ones that I used in this. For those who are beginners, I gave you instructions on how to put this cover together and how to, um, I used muslin for instead of Tyvek this time. I just wanted that old vintage look, so that's what I used. And um, I told you you could put, you know, uh, an edge on each side if you wanted of the center, the spine piece. I added pockets. Uh, here's the envelope, and in it I put little doodads that I had left over after I decorated my journal. Here's some of the decorations here, here. Here's one page. There's a pocket from the kit. Here's a tag from the kit. You get lots of fussy cuts. I did a little bit of punching with some of the bonus pages. There's a page from the kit. You get lines. You get grid. You get plain. This is coffee dyed. I had I only had like one or two pieces, so I used what I had. I didn't want to take the time to dye anymore. There's the plane again. Here's a couple of items from the the kit. Also, if you go to my website, which uh, I have linked in the listing for this kit, there is um, another sheet that I gave away as a freebie. So I want to put some coffee dyed paper in here, but I didn't have any, like I said. So I I had fun with this. My paper that I'd printed wasn't tall enough, so I thought, hmm, I can fix that. And so I did that. Here's a long, tall Sally. <laughs> Aged myself there. Whoops. This is also in the kit, which I think you saw the other side. So there you go. The lines. That's the other side of the other one of the one of the sheets from the kit. There's your lines again. Um, I had printed this large sheet. Well, here let me show you the pocket first. This is a a card that I made, and I did end up cutting it down because. This page was narrower since I put it as a flip out, so I slimmed it down, but you have one that will fit in the regular size pockets. Anyway, I made a flip out and and a pocket. There's lots of um, sentiments and labels. There's the other side of that page. There's this side of this page. These are in the, this is in the kit, and this is in the kit. Of course, you can look at the listing and you can see everything that's in the kit, in case I miss anything, which is likely. If I can get it open, there you go. Now, I made this for me. I'm not going to sell it because I just wanted a journal like this. I thought it was just the cutest thing. Oh, I forgot to show you something. I, one of the labels I made says this journal belongs to, so I'll sign my name there. Anyway, a couple of things. There's another another page. You can print your pages. I did on all the pages for the kit, the actual pages for the kits. I printed them, I mean I placed them on the sheet so that they are centered. Now, my printer is a pain in the arse because it kicks things sideways sometimes. So when that happens, I just end up cutting off a little bit, and it squares up fairly good. And so anyway, there's, yeah, I don't know if that one was square. See, it's kind of off a little bit, but it's not that bad. 
anyway, I have, yeah, I have issues with it sometimes. Here's a, <laughs> I even covered up date. So I may go back in and fix this, move the due date over here and lighten it up a little bit because it's a little darker than the kit. We'll see. Anyway, this is, this, this piece, this library pocket, this tag, and these words are all on the freebie sheet. There's another long, tall Sally. And here's another one of the long sheets that lets you have lots of places to journal. I hope you can see this all right. There's a belly band that I created. Actually, I think I made this as a belly band, but then I decided I wanted it backed with the other paper, so. Let's see. Another little pocket. And I just cut them out of the pieces that I had left, you know, that, that I printed out. And then here's the other, there's two um, uh, envelopes. In, and I didn't make a, a, a thing for this, um, uh, anything to go in either of the pockets, really. I figured you could either put one of these cards, put, up, put in something that you make, something precious, or um, put some coffee dyed or tea dyed papers in there. So that's it. I got quite a few pages in this little book. And, you know, I'll probably put a, a ribbon around it to hold it shut because it tends to be alligator mouth. But, you know, with wide enough, I put two signatures and did fine with it. So there you have it. This is Vintage Day Book. You'll find it. I'll list the Etsy... Um, address down below but you can find it from my website as well don't forget to check out the freebies put a link for that as well and so have a good day and god bless y'all bye bye